Well, good morning everyone. I don't even know what day it is, but that's okay. Sometime in January. <laughs> we are off on a girl's trip to Park City, Utah. <laughs> and for once, I am the first one in the car. Let it be known that Ellie is not always late and that Aaron and mom can't always roast me. Here I am, let's honk the horn and piss everyone off. Ready? <laughs> They're gonna be so mad. <laughs> it's been so long. You've been so tough You've kept it up You've kept me up Been standing tall Keeping strong And I'm doing well I'm eating more And oh, you might think That you're fine You need someone and though you've been in your time, you need someone to love. Oh, this is the biggest, Erin, come look at the shower. This is the biggest shower I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi guys, so we are on one of our little girls trips, which we were just talking about how we never take that for granted, that feeling of just like walking into these beautiful places, the three of us together, being able to explore and experience places like all over the world that we would have never dreamed of. Right now we are in Park City, Utah at the Blue, is it Blue Sky Lodge? I think it's Blue Sky Lodge. We are at the Blue Sky Lodge Resort, Wellness Resort. There's really no other reason for us to be up here other than the fact that we have really not seen our mom. Aaron and I have been all over the place and I really wanted to have my fix of snow and kind of winter. I spent all of the winter or I guess like snowy time during Christmas in Charleston and then in Arizona. And we had a lot of family stuff kind of happening in there. And so I really wanted to plan a trip with the girls so we could all just hang out. And so we came up with this eventful Erin, as she always does, found this beautiful place and helped plan everything. Now you come running around. <laughs> of course. I'm hoping we can just kind of disconnect a little bit and just breathe and catch up. And we have like, meditation stuff, yoga, all these really cool things kind of planned here. So we're just gonna do a little, little girl. Oh my God, mom's being so adorable right now. Please look at this. I am crying. You can't make this up. This is like the cutest little like main, main character moment I've ever seen. Why is that like so pitiful? That's so cute. I'm very grateful to be here with mom and Erin. So that is the plan. We have dinner in two hours. So I think until then we're gonna unpack, get situated and get dressed up for dinner. I swear, <laughs> I come on a weekend to relax and plan my goals for the year. And literally on the drive to this place, I got a really important call about something I've never done before. And I can't say anything on it other than it's just something that now is going to be on my mind this weekend that I have to kind of like do things for. I just like needed a minute to like process what's happening. And mom and Erin went down to go order some food. And then I think I wanna get ready and take some pictures after dinner. Anyways, that's my update. This place is just literally insane. It's basically just one huge room right here. We have the two little beds and then the fireplace is just so freaking cozy. I just want to sit out here. And even though I'm doing sober January, actually I think I've talked about that. I have actually been doing dry January and I think it's something I really really want to incorporate more in my life. I don't know, I felt more focused and inspired this last month without alcohol. And so even though mom and Aaron, you know, I love that they drink their wine and I have nothing against it. I've been exploring a lot of mocktails and it's been really fun. So we're gonna do that out here and that is perfectly okay. If you are doing this too, I give you credit. It can be really hard, especially in today's society when that is such a part of like social activities to not drink. There's been so much power this month for me in saying no and feeling proud in that rather than like embarrassed or weird. So if you're doing this, stay strong with me. Okay, anyways, let's go meet mom and Aaron for some food and a cheese board and a mocktail. There we go. How much you wanna bet that since I'm wearing my slippery ass Uggs, I'm going to eat it and slide down this. I would bet a lot of money on it because at this point, if you're gonna be clumsy and make a fool of yourself, at least own it. If you try and deny it, it just makes it weirder. I'm sliding right now. <laughs> it's 
feels like I'm filming a reality show. Thank you. Bye. Just for everyone that thinks that people from Arizona can't stand the cold, then what is what is this? So I can't stand the cold. We have um, <laughs> three s'mores kits coming because at this place you get two. I love how I'm just having casual conversations. I'm literally freaking my ass off. <laughs> Why can't you talk? Because I'm cold, Aaron. That's what happens. We have three s'mores kits coming because you get 200 a day to spend on food, but we cut because we only came for dinner. <laughs> Stop making me nervous. We had to spend it all, so now we're just using like free money to get everything. So now we're doing s'mores. I'm full and I could throw up right now, but it's right. So, okay, time to go. to go do some yoga. Why is this so dark and mysterious? Jeez. They have an 8 a.m. yoga class. Aaron is already down there. There's a coffee bar. So we are trudging our way down. This place is insane. I feel like I'm in like Switzerland or something. I also slept like a damn baby last night. That was the best night's of sleep I've had in a while. All right, let's go start this day off right. This water's freezing too. <laughs> got back from yoga and an amazing breakfast. And I think there's literally snow in my damn hair. I am gonna shower, put on a robe, and get ready. And we're gonna see some horses. And I'm so pumped. Erin, I feel like it's been a while since you've been in a video. Come say hi, tell them what's good. Tell them what you've been up to besides Pilates and getting up at 6 a.m. every morning. Besides thriving and living a healthy lifestyle. We have just been exploring around. I can't take myself seriously in winter clothing. And Erin especially can't take herself seriously. I hate winter clothing so much. I hate the cold. All right, we're gonna go explore and see some horses. Mom has been MIA for the last like three hours too. I don't know where she is, but she's thriving somewhere. And, and the food here is so good. The food is insane, but Erin also has a problem where she likes to split everything. So this morning we shared an omelet and it came out and it was literally two bites. No, but then every, everyone gets mad when I want to split, but then it's always the perfect amount of food. No, you it's even not. Said you're like, that was the perfect amount of food. I was the one who was I had to get the side of turkey sausage. <laughs> Anyways, the food's amazing though. And the sun is out, which is nice. So thank God. got a plant-based burger and they split it for us. Once again on that splitting shit that Aaron swears by. Let's try well, you it. still keep doing it. I keep doing it, you're right. Mm. Wow. It's pink. I've never seen like a, a burger like that. This is delicious. Well, now you got eyes and now you should see that I'm not. I'm just a horse girl at heart over here. <laughs> Come here, Blue. Talk to me. Let's see if this one will interact with me. Hi, you. Come here. Mom, how do you call out to them? We are walking down to the spa, right? That's right. It's gorgeous. And, oh, God. I just got to snow <laughs> something in my eye. Erin's sprinting there because she hates the cold. <laughs> Anyways, it's been non-stop snowing. We were down with the horses. Mom's a natural, authentic horse girl. I'm a staged one. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sunday afternoon. We have been doing yoga. We walked on the treadmill and worked out for a little bit. I forgot running shoes, so I was literally going barefoot, which was kind of a unique experience. Probably wouldn't do it again. I already have really messed up feet and shin splints from walking in my platform Uggs. So that was an L for not bringing shoes. Mom, Aaron, come here. I'm making them dance with me in our robes. I feel like every time we go on a girl's trip, we have to do something where you're in the hotel robe, cringingly dancing, because me and Aaron get our bad moves from our mom. So we have to embrace it somehow. Well, we spent the day at the spa and now we are watching the Bengals and the Chiefs game, hoping the Bengals make it because the Super Bowl, obviously, as you guys probably know, is in Phoenix this year. So it's very exciting to think of the Bengals being in Phoenix because that's where my dad's from. We ordered food in and we're just watching the game right now. Oh no, no! He got it, he got it. The Chiefs just won. I am so upset. The Bengals are coming to Phoenix. Joe Burrow won't be in the desert, no! They're cr- oh. No. I'm so upset. Well, I can now say I am experiencing what negative one feels like. And I hate to say I kind of love it. Is that so stupid of me? Guys, this morning I woke up and I was rushing because we have Pilates and I jammed my freaking knee against the nightstand. I have the biggest gash on it. I went to the floor in tears because I'm just dramatic like that. For like 10 minutes because the pain was not getting better. And my mom felt so bad. I don't know how much I'm gonna actually be able to do with Pilates because of it. It literally looks like I need stitches, but I can't go there or else I'll pass out and it will just mess up the day. So that is my little Monday morning update, but let's walk over to Pilates. In this negative one, I can't stop blowing. Way off my shoulders, I'm begging Sunday morning, get some songs to my new Well, I think now is the time to dramatically end this video on a cliffhanger. I'm going to the doctor to get my knee checked. And it wasn't even from a damn snow sport. It's so embarrassing. I'm like here and they keep getting me ice and checking on me, which is so kind to like the people at the hotel. And they fully thought I like had a skiing or snowboarding accident or even slipped in the snow, something that would make sense. I literally just jammed my knee on that. <laughs> That's so humbling. But thank you guys for coming along on this girl's trip. Hopefully all is well with the knee and it's just bruised, I'm praying, because we get too much going on for anything else. So we will see. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Mwah. Goodbye.